Hi there and hello. I came across a quote recently that really resonated with me. And it's a quote by someone named Anthony DeMillo. And it goes like this. Pleasant experiences make life delightful. Painful experiences lead to growth. And I don't know about you, but that certainly rings true in my life. When I think about painful experiences, what comes to top of mind is some sort of loss, right? It could be a breakup or the loss of a friend, a pet, a loved one, maybe the loss of a job, maybe missing out on a promotion or some sort of disappointment. And there's nothing wrong with that. That, you know, that's part of life. It's part of the human experience that we're all going through and and living out together but it's kind of really important actually to acknowledge when we are feeling these things right so of course it's easy to delight in the positive experiences like the quote says because of course that's when life feels easy breezy and you're like yeah man this is the best thing ever i'm loving what's coming up for me more please right but then, you know, on the other hand, there always has to be a flip side, a, a contrast. And I would like to challenge you to use that as an opportunity for growth, to use that as an opportunity for gratitude even, right? So I guess I would say, uh, as a personal example, I recently ended a friendship with someone and while it's sad I absolutely can feel grateful for it for the things that I learned the lessons that I learned and just having that person in my life for a certain period of time so it's it's a matter of reframing right and I kind of want to use a little bit of time today to maybe do a little bit of tapping around that because it's not always an easy thing to do. Some days we just want to sit in that feeling of pain, whatever it may be. Most likely not physical pain, um, but sometimes that's the case, right? So um, for this kind of exercise, we're going to focus on the internal, the emotional, pain that we may feel from maybe the end of some sort of relationship or disappointment towards something that we were looking forward to that maybe did not turn out the way we had planned. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it and see what comes up, what uh, inspiration strikes us. So tapping on the side of the hand. We're going to just take a nice, easy breath in through the nose and blowing it out through the mouth. All right, so you know the drill. Follow along and repeat after me. Even though I feel this pain and I don't like it, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm really feeling this pain right now, and I wish it were gone already. I'm tired of feeling this way. I am open to the possibility that maybe something good can come out of this. Even though I am really struggling with this pain. It just seems so unfair. I don't like it. It needs to go away now. I deeply and completely accept myself and how I'm feeling right now. Great, top of the head. This pain, this pain that I'm feeling right now, sides of the eyes, it really sucks. Under the eyes. I wish this pain would just go away. 
under the nose. It feels so unfair. Uh, chin point. This pain. Collarbones. What did I do to deserve this? Under the arms. This pain. Top of the head. I just want to feel good. Eyebrow points. Is that too much to ask? Sides of the eyes. I really don't see how anything good can come from this. Under the eyes. I mean, it's not as if I'm going to get anything out of feeling bad. Under the nose. Just waiting for this pain to go away. Under the mouth. What could I do to make this disappear? Collarbones. Is that even possible? Under the arms. Maybe it is. And maybe it's not. Top of the head. Either way, I'm open to feeling this pain. Eyebrow points. I accept that it won't last forever. Sides of the eyes. And I look forward to when it's gone. Under the eyes. I wonder if maybe there's something I could learn from this. Under the nose. I wonder if there's something that I could be grateful for. Chen point. Was there anything good that came out of this? Collarbones. Was there anything that happened before this pain that would make it worthwhile? Under the arms. Am I better, a better person in some way? Top of the head. Did I learn something about myself or other people? Eyebrow points. Even if I didn't, I'm open to Finding something good. Sides of the eyes. Because oftentimes the silver lining is overlooked. Under the eyes. Maybe it won't make my pain go away. Under the nose but it might just make it easier to accept what I'm feeling right now. Chin point. And it's possible that I'll feel better about myself once it passes. Collarbones. I have more knowledge now than I did before this pain. Under the arms. And that might just be something I can be grateful for. Okay, let's release that nice easy breath. If you need to take any stretch, shoulder rolls, or anything else that feels good, please go ahead and do that. Um, there we have it folks focusing on pain that leads to growth right so it doesn't have to be like oh my gosh i'm a totally new person now that 
XYZ has happened and it was really hard for me and I came out the other side and I'm stronger, etc., whatever. That may be the case, maybe not. But the thing is, even gratitude, being able to identify even something, even a mustard seed sized something that you can be grateful for, that in itself is growth. And that in itself is worth celebrating. So with that, kudos to you for acknowledging you're in a tough place or maybe you're just coming out of a tough place. You're in good company. Again, a human, human experience, but that's part of the beauty, right? We're all, we're all in it together, right? High School Musical, but for real, that, that is kind of part of the, the cool thing is that even when we're going through something that really sucks, there are so many other people that can relate and that we can connect with and share and have camaraderie with around the shared experience. And again, those connections can also help to boost our gratitude, which can then help draw in better, brighter, happier, better feeling things for us. So little, little food for thought, some little thought seeds to plant that hopefully will grow for you and flourish in time. Uh, please let me know how you liked that tapping sequence. If you have any special requests or recommendations on things to tap on in the future. And um, I would be happy to entertain those for you. Until next time, take care and keep shining.